Hello YouTube and members of the interweb, this is Sean Insane in the Game, and welcome to Ghost Recon Wildlands. This is Episode 1. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the And this is probably why off the mark, but I'm starting to get the sense that he's not the good guy. The In my dream, a woman's voice asked me. Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses. I led my people to the promised land. Oh my god, he's comparing himself to Moses. This is another religious we nutcase. Here. We bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself. On the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. There is just a little bit of room left on that head if you wanted some more tattoos, but you've really got to look for the space. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Bloody hell, this chap's been a Our bit busy. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. And here we are in another helicopter. Another way to start a Tom Clancy game in a helicopter. The agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. Hang on a minute, how can she hear me? I She's wearing headphones, we're in a helicopter, it's very noisy. I'm not wearing a microphone, no, how can she hear what I'm saying? I take it we're just gonna brush over that fact then, are we? Okay, no, fair enough, move on. Guess you've been down here a while. I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. Yeah, I'm right, actually. I'm a chopper does beat a company car. I flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Must have been someone else. We were never there. Yeah, right, someone Not else. We were definitely there. In the flesh. You should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. Please don't tell me they are headquarters, if so I've done something wrong in a previous life, or maybe game.
Here we are. We're here to save the day. What do you mean four soldiers? That's all you're getting. That's all you deserve. That's all you need. We're the best. We're the best of the best. Leave the rest behind. We're the best. I'm not sure if you're getting the point, but we are the best. And that's all you need. Is the best. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pat Katari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. Well, pleased to meet you. I can we already tell we're going to get on like a house Santa on Blanca's fire. Organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six for years For a whole now. six years? Well, bloody hell, they, they should nearly have targets. this one by now. Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. <sighs> these Aucas, these demons, they got questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si. Yuri and Polito. I'm starting to get the These sense the that we're about to go and get those two people. Would you like them dead or alive or tortured? Or all of the above? I don't know if I can do all the above, actually. But dead or alive? What would you prefer? I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days. Maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's got to know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. So basically, we'll we're going to shake up this rock. country until we find these people we want. Got you. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was Okay, murdered. what do we have here? Some more evidence. Oh, I recognize Tattoo Man. Cartel. Ricky? And the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Oh, that's them. They're the two I'm after. Okay, where are they? Yuri and Let Polito me at them. Poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. And I can see From why. What a catch! Head, they were Hang on, is that her arm or his arm? No other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a new a while, car? Great. Well, I have a helicopter, so trump that. staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. These two are quite a nasty pair. Problems. It's going to be a pleasure to take them down and cause them lots and lots the of pain if I can. If that's at all possible, that would be great. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him non-stop for 47 hours straight. 47 hours? Bloody hell, that's impressive. He couldn't Ricky quite make the 48 mark though, could Sueño he? Sueño executed him. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on their chain of command. The guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. So, I know what I've got to do to start off with then. I go around all this area, I get every single bit of intel that I can, I torture and interrogate people to get what information they have, and then I go after those torturing bastards. Okay, I'm at a checkpoint now, so let's have a look what we've got up ahead. We've got sniper a sniper in the tower, and we've got a little checkpoint here, so let's go and have a look what's in here. There's a cartel medal over here. It's going to break some poor thug's heart to lose this. 
Nomad, I've got Pakatori on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Oh great, we've only been in the country five minutes and he already wants our help. And to think he wasn't that impressed with us when we first got here. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Katari. Just tell me what you need. Yeah, yeah, like she said, get to the point. I can't quite see the sniper, so I'll have to leave him for the time being. Can you do this? Consider it done. We're taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. We're gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get Hello, out of who are you? Why aren't you shooting at me? Okay, you're shooting at me. Okay, die. For a second now, I thought you were friendly, as you didn't start shooting me straight away. And someone else is aware of me now. Who is it? Is it Mr. Sniper? Yes, it's Mr. Sniper. If you could kindly just take that bullet, thank you very much. This metal has a coca plant on it. That's kind of cool. Here's another tower checkpoint situation, and... No, I've missed him. Oh, and I've missed him again. Well, bloody hell, he's pretty aware of me now, I should think. And I see you, Mr. Sniper, so you take bullet. Okay, now where's this other guy? Oh, okay, there you are. Okay, no, please stop hiding behind that building. Oh, and we've got the attention of someone else over there. I can't Look quite out, see him at the moment. Oh, you're shooting it. What do you mean grenade? Are we chugging grenades now? We're supposed to be doing this quietly. That's why we've got silenced weapons. I know it's not that quiet, but it's quieter than a bloody grenade. So, do I have a clear shot at you now? No, not at the moment, but you are now on the move. So, patient, patient, and dead. Oh, and you can now see me. So, if you could just stick your head up and... Thank you very much. Sniper out there. And with my newest little toy up, I get to have a little bit of a fly about and see who's around. And I think I've got four targets at the moment. She did say ten, but I'm hoping they're a long, long way away. Oh yeah, I can see a load more over there, but hopefully they're not going to be any problem to us. Okay, let's start Operation Kill Everybody as quickly as possible, and let's start with you. Done. Okay, we're still all right. Sneak round here and take you out rather quiet-like, and I'm surprised you didn't see anything, but you're next on the list. We're good, we're good. And I can see you through the window there, so, and you're gone as well. Marvellous. All dead. And I'm now heading into town, because apparently there's some intel in there I can get. And Hang on, who's that over the there? Down, oh, apparently Civvy. Okay, no, that's fine. So, yeah, I'm heading into town, get this bit of information, and hopefully then it will lead to another mission or something. Yes, yes, we are searching this location for intel. That's what I was just saying. Well, you're not paying attention. Please pay attention next time. I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Bad guys in the area. Bad guys in the area? You're not a bad guy, are you? No. There's no bad guys around here. Oh, and it looks like our informant or our bit of information or whatever it is we're actually here for is in this building. So, a little bit of caution. Hello, are you friend or enemy? You don't appear to be wanting to kill me. I'll have these medical supplies, but... Are we good? ¿Qué haces? You got any chisme about the cartel or the sicarios? Gracias. Well, wasn't he a helpful chap? If only everybody was as helpful as this chap. Eyes up. We got army units in the area. Oh, we have some army members up front. They should be quite difficult to take out compared to everybody else so far. This will be a bit of a challenge. Am I up to the challenge? Of course I am. Okay, when I give the word, if you can take that person out and I'll just get myself into position. Ready. Call the shot. 
tengo idea, hermano. Si me pregunta, ya vieron que esto va a durar años y años. ¿Cómo está? Ok, now. He's gone. Oh, yep, there seems to be a few more of them over there, and they seem to be quite aware of us at the moment. Let's try and get a little bit closer. Okay, I can see someone behind the car there. Oh, and there's someone behind this guy. If you take that. Oh, not quite dead, you take that. Oh, and there's another one. And, oh, God, I'm reloading. Oh, hang on a minute. Don't worry, it's all under control. I've got it under control. Dangerously close. Check your targets before you shoot. Yes, yes, I know. Lots of civilians. Can you please just talk one at a time? It's getting rather confusing and I'm getting a headache. Well, this killing is giving me a headache. Okay, let's have a fly about and see what we've actually got in this little village. And there's a couple of army personnel over there. Oh, I'm getting out of range, so I'll head back. Tango number three. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Right, there's a few more of you over in this direction, and quite ironically, this is where I want to be. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a few of you actually hiding in some of those buildings there, but let's make a move. Don't mind me, just sneaking through. Oh my god, he nearly saw us. Oh, some medical supplies. I'll have some of them. Right, if you could do me a favour and die right now, thank you. I got one narco, close to that nasty looking dump. Yo, I got a weapons case here. Hang on, I've got a weapons case? How can you see a weapons case? I can't see no weapons case. Is it in the building? Must be in the building. I can see through walls, fantastic. Okay, there's no weapons cache in here, unless you mean upstairs. So not only can I see through walls, I can now see a floor or so up. Great. Oh, bloody hell, who are you? I didn't know you were there. Okay, you take that and you die. Hang on, were you supposed to die? Was I supposed to kill you? Could I've got intel out of you? I don't know. But you're dead now. Right, so all the bad guys are now aware of us, but more importantly, there's no weapons cache on this floor, so it must be another floor up. This floor appears to be empty, there's no one about, but bingo, weapons cash. I'll be having that, thank you very much. What's the play? Just leave it all to me, I'll sort all of this out, okay? I got us into this mess and you will probably have to dig me out of it. Right, I'll kill you and the glass and then I'll take you out and that's it, that's two of them done. How many more is there? Someone else can see me out there, but I can't see them. I'll tell you what, I think it's droney time. There's one of you out there, and there's two of you in the building. Oh my god, there's two of them in the building. Oh yep, there you are, if you take that. Okay, is there any more of you? Oh my god, there's two more of them down there. Okay, you take that, and you have that as well. Oh, bloody hell, yep, time to retreat, time to retreat and heal myself. Bloody hell, that was a little bit too close. Oh, finally, someone's come up here to give me a hand. Right, okay, what next? There's one more down there. There's lots of guns and blood up here, but no bodies. Should I be suspicious of what you've been doing with all the bodies? Okay, you seem to have dealt with the other person who's down here, but there's still people around. Oh, yeah, there he is. I can see him. So, he was easy to deal with. And what else have we got? I can hear some more people and some people. Yep, there they are. And take both of you out. And that seems to be this area cleared. Yes, that's what I was just saying. This area is now cleared. And though I don't believe there's anybody else about, it's better to be a little bit cautious as I go in here. 
Better safe than dead. Oh, and there's some people I can let out. Fantastic, I'll let you out. And here's the intel. It better be worth all the death. We got a 20 on the garage where Polito parks his sports car. Right, we found out where he keeps his sports car. No, I'm sure that's very, very important and very vital information. And this appears to be a rather spooky looking church. Are they all like this in South America? I hope not. And thank you for watching. Please like if you did. Subscribe if you like to hear my waffle three times a week. Please comment below or on Facebook or on Twitter with all the links in the description. Good morning, day or night. This is Sean Insane in the Game and I'll see you all in the safe zone.